What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So we have some good news today. The Nell Prime, which has been buffed since release, to basically, it was bugging out, wouldn't give you the infinite ammo buff if you went to operator while the buff was active. Today on PC, that was hot fixed, and now the Nell Prime is a complete monster. I've got a new build for you compared to the old video, uh, where you're going to be getting like 3 million damage red crits with no ribbon. How's that sound to you? Uh... Even nicer is that the Riven Dispo has not been, you know, bug fixed or whatever. So it's still got crazy high Rivens and crazy high damage. So we'll be going over a loadout for that today just to hit really big damage. This honestly is like amazing for Steel Path Disruption. So I might be planning to do a level 10,000 Steel Path Disruption in the near future. Potentially solo. We'll have to see how much time I got. Uh, but yeah, this thing honestly it, it is a new DPS source in the secondary slot, which I think is amazing. So before we get into it and go over, because this will be like a re-review of the Nell Prime, make sure you're subbed to the YouTube channel and make sure you check out the live stream channel as well. So you can see when we go live and test all this stuff out. All right, so the Nell Prime, what's, if you might have watched the previous video on like what's going on with this thing, it's basically just a better version of the Nell. It's got a couple downsides comparatively, but overall it just... It's just better. It's just the better Nell, double the crit chance, better crit multiplier. Uh, yeah, real, real good. So if you want to uh, destroy some fools, here you go. Now, this is a single target weapon. And the way the Nell works is you get a headshot and then it goes into crazy mode. Here's the build that will let you get millions of damage. So um, we got Viral on here. And that's because we're going to be removing enemy armor. And Viral is good against enemies that don't have armor. We've got Prime Pistol Gambit and Galvanized Crosshairs. Prime Pistol Gambit can switch out for Sharpened Bullets, I think it's called, which will give you increased crit damage while you're aiming on kill. Since this thing is pr pretty much a machine gun sniper pistol, you'll be aiming down sights a lot. So this is up to personal preference. I think seeing red crits is just fun, uh, so we're going to go with that. But as you can see, we get a big bump of a crit chance from running Prime Pistol Gambit, going from 40% to 114. Now, Galvanized Crosshairs, thank you for people who pointed this on my previous video. This makes perfect sense in the Nell. On headshot, increase crit chance while aiming uh, for 12 seconds. On headshot kill, even further increase crit chance, uh, stack up to five times. Very, very good mod in the Nell. And as you can see, we have all three of the galvanized mods on this build. That's how you know it's about to be crazy. So we got galvanized shot, galvanized crosshairs, and galvanized diffusion all maxed out. The big, big damage is here, boys. We got Prime Expel Grenier for anti Grenier stuff. If you don't have uh, these mods maxed out, you could potentially run uh, a fire rate mod in that slot, a overall base damage mod or something like that. Primary dead, uh, secondary deadhead because this is a headshot weapon clearly and this gives you an headshot, increased headshot multiplier. It is not a slash proc weapon, so this is actually very good. You can alternatively uh, switch the build to gas damage if you're still removing enemy armor and it will make a nice little gas cloud in the area. But if you're not removing armor, you can also go corrosive. So let's quit talking and show what we're, we're doing here. Also, we are gonna be using the, this this uh, this arcane's honestly person, perfect for this, arcane precision. On headshot, 100% chance for 300% increased damage for pistols for 18 seconds. Wow, is this just the most perfect mod or arcane for the Nell Prime I can think of. This is also the Caliban build from the previous video. If you want to check that out, go for it. All right, so you're going to get a couple kills on these boys, and then we're going to remove enemy armor and show the millions of damage with no ribbon. So uh, they're paused. I'm going to put some Steel Path gameplay in here against Steel Path Demolist and Acolytes, so keep an eye out for that. So yeah, as you can see, even with uh, enemy armor, it's still hitting 200k. Let's chain them up and then remove their armor. And okay, so there's 2 point, uh, 293, 1.6 mil, 1.7 mil, 1.6. Now we're getting into red crits. We can find an enemy that can survive this. That would be great. That guy got slash proc. That's hilarious. This thing doesn't even normally do slash procs. And yeah, it's it's pretty nasty, guys. So um, this is with no ribbon, remember. So the ribbons actually are stronger than they probably should be. Even though I do like the way that they came out. They came out with a 4 Dispo, which is what the normal Nell has. I'd say, if you're going to be releasing new Prime weapons, they should come out with the Dispo of the old weapon. Because um, they did, I think the, the weapon needs to prove itself for being too OP for the old Dispo. Uh, if you ask me. So, 1.7 mil red crit, 2 million uh, orange crit, 2.7 million red crit. And this is not without even any buffing. Almost a 3 million red crit there with no ribbon. So... You see where this is going for right here. Um, and this is full auto, of course. I'm like I'm like single firing it. It's a full auto assault pistol. You can put even more fire rate on here if you really wanted to. Um, and yeah, that's pretty nasty. Now, of course, that is with armor removal. Let's show how it performs with no armor removal with this viral build. Because you might be like, well, armor removal makes things easy. And you are correct. But for really high level enemies, you do want some armor removal, to be honest. So, same thing. No enemy armor. It's a three shot. Is that a problem, really? No, it's not. 
Um, it's a one shot with no armor. It's a three shot with armor against these level 185 Exo Goose Drug Officers. These enemies literally can't even spawn at this high of level, and they have the highest armor I can spawn in here. So, yeah, let's hop into the Steel Path and then see how that goes there. Now, remember, this is with pause enemies. It's, it's a lot less practical at mission, which is why I'd recommend something like Harrow's Condemned Chains to make you basically a mini Harrow. They are just going to be sitting ducks for your headshots, and it's very, very easy. This all also does work on Demolis. If you want to check out any of the Condemned videos on the channel, we have a bunch from the last pre uh, couple of days. So, um, I was just kind of just like hopping in, seeing what would happen, uh, and it is it is nasty. I'd say definitely pick it up uh, as a main DPS source on the Steel Path Disruption. Very good choice here. Um, like I said, you'll probably see a video of me doing like some level 10,000 Steel Path in the future, if I can stomach it, just sing in a mission for that long. Um, I did miss the first shot. Now, if you do miss, if you miss a shot with this thing, it is kind of bad. But as you can see, as soon as we shot him, he was done for. Um, and these guys do have multiplied health and armor because they are on the steel path. Um, so as far as the weapon grade, they don't really change. I'd still say this is an S tier acolyte killer because you know if if you can hit the headshot, they're done for. If you don't hit the headshot, uh, well, get good or CC them or something. You can use ensnare. You can use. Um, I think Condemn's honestly the best, but Ensnare is also really good, especially if you're going for a gas build. Maybe like a Caliban gas build with Ensnare, pull them on, all in together, and just melt them down. Um, so yeah, the max stats potential is not great. When you get the Death Knell buff, it increases your status chance and your crit damage, so you can actually stack some pretty big damage on this thing. Um, Acolyte and like Priority Target Kill Speed S. This is Look at that. That, that, that Demolus did not have a chance at all. So um, yeah, and this is... I don't think this is with a Riven in the video. Uh, or in the, in the gameplay right here, but you, you could definitely run a Riven. Like I said, it's got four Dispo for who knows how long. Um, and you, like, you, there's crazy Riven stats you have for this thing. For example, that mod I recommended to you, if you didn't want to get uh, run the two crit chance mods, the um, Sharpened Bullets, that gives you 75% crit damage at, while aiming. For, for comparison's sake, my Riven gives 142% crit damage uh, just at all times, because that's just how the Riven Dispo is, I suppose. Um, so yeah, the ribbon is going to be better than whatever mod you put in that slot probably, but it honestly is not a big deal. As you can see, like steel path melter, if you're removing enemy armor like this, it will, it will go to level 10,000 easily just because of how much we're dealing millions of damage per bullet already. And it's full auto and we, it, we got infinite ammo. I mean, can you really, you can't complain about that really, to be honest. Um, so let's just quickly show a gas build and similar outcome. Could be kind of funny just to see. Um, now, of course, like I said, with no armor, it, it's a little bit of a different story. Uh, but with armor, you know, they're, they're not going to be falling down as quickly. Um, and I do highly recommend this to you. Of course, don't. there's no rush to get it unless you want to try the bug down dispo uh, while it's a thing. Um, but, you know, it, it's whatever. It, it, FOMO, I guess, but it's like bug FOMO. So, are you, it, I don't know. Right, here's the acolyte. Let's see what happens to this acolyte before I show you this gas build. Um, yeah, so... Galvanized, cross, uh, galvanized Crosshairs, Galvanized Diffusion, and Galvanized Shot, I'd say all of them are really good on this thing. Um, and I, I at first was running, I, I wanted to roll just to, to not get killed by the bubble, but um, I was at first not running Galvanized Crosshairs just because I don't like the conditional focus of that mod. But it does make perfect sense on here, um, especially if you don't have a Riven, you know, get an extra bang for your buck from that ribbon um, from that slot for your you know increased crit chance getting those red crits getting access to that crit multiplier that that acolyte was just done for that was a complete joke and i was tabbing out just to, to stop the recording that's why i died all right i got an excuse for everything dudes all right so gas build same th that's actually a blast build <laughs> that is not i bet the blast build will be fine honestly uh blast meta you heard it here first but let's let's do gas just so we can show the enemies being all frozen and stuff we can actually unpause them if we really wanted to uh, but I don't want to do that right now. So, getting some dudes in here. Get a couple kills. Get those galvanized stacks. Remember, this is full auto. So, that's 150k gas proc on that guy. And, I mean, it. there's there's no hope. There's no hope for these enemies. It's game over the grenier now that we have this. And it's too bad that the gas proc is not that big of AoE or these guys would be done for. Eh, I'd probably recommend the viral build over this, but... Hey, you know, it works. That guy's taking 26,000 from something. 490k. So, guys, this is good. Get Arcane Precision. Um, you know, maybe get an armor removal set up. Get Harrow Condemn on your frame or in Snare or whatever like that. And just go ham. Have fun. Destroy everything. See you later. Peace.